Hi, this is my post-fight review of Oval McKenzie versus Enzo Macanelli this past weekend. Uh, I agree with everybody who says the fight was stopped way too soon. I mean, even referee Ian John Lewis knew that it was stopped too soon. You could see, you could see, you knew that he'd made a mistake. Um, basically, what happened was um, Oval McKenzie put on the pressure on Enzo in round two. He's knocking him about a bit on the ropes. Um, landed barely any punches, it was all sort of arm punches and all that. Then in John Lewis, out of nowhere, he comes in, or, you know, he's next to him, he's watching it, he steps in, but he steps in so slowly that you know that while he's stepping in, you know he's made a mistake. You know that he knows he's made a mistake. Because he steps in, Oval McKenzie walks away, thinking, yes, I've won, and Ian John Lewis stands there, holding Enzo, like, looking at him, even though he's just waved it off, he's just waved off the fight, and he's looking at him, analysing to see if he's okay, and then he just sort of tries to convince Enzo that he's not with it. So he's like, yeah, yeah, you're, you're okay, you're okay. Uh, or you're not okay, you're not okay. And then Enzo just like, what? What have you just done? So anyway, totally and utterly stepped in way too soon. Spoiled what could have been a good bout. Um, I thought that Oval McKenzie would win early, but I didn't think he'd win early thanks to the referee. So anyway, I hope a rematch happens. A rematch has to happen because the, the fight itself was quite a good fight to be made. Uh, no fight should stop like that. Um, second of all, I think it does highlight, I wouldn't say it's a problem, but it does highlight uh, the fact that in Britain fights do tend to get called off sooner rather than later, which is fine. That's what I want. I want a boxing landscape where fights get called off sooner rather than later. But sooner rather than later, not too soon. Like, I want them to be called off before a guy gets brain damage, but I don't want them to be called off the first second of round one. Do you see what I mean? So, and I do think that in Britain, sometimes fights do get called off a bit too early. Like, I always think that the bordering, the, the, the examples where fights have been called off a little bit too soon include some of like Tyson Fury's fights in the last year or so, I think like his fight against Pike Chick, I think that was called off sooner rather than later, but probably not too soon, because I did think that Pike Chick was being punched around a lot. I th was that the fight where um, Tyson Fury was down? I think he was down in like round four, and then he stopped him in the next round. And I was okay with the stoppage, but, but anyway, I'm not sure if that's even the fight. But anyway, there were a couple of Tyson Fury fights I can think of where they were stopped a little bit early, but like I say, Always best to stop it sooner rather than later, especially if, um, especially if all the evidence is on a stoppage about to happen nonetheless. So even though it's stopped, your brain is thinking this is going to be stopped anytime soon anyway. You know, like if not not those stoppages where boxer A is punching the living heck out of boxer B, then boxer B floors him suddenly, and then the ref calls it off because boxer B has been floored. You know, I, you know, I'm not, um, or Boxer A's been called, I, I don't know. But anyway, you know, that's not what I like. But I think that British boxing is good, the way they do that. But, you know, that was ridiculous. And something doesn't need to be, be done about. I think British referees do need to be held accountable for a lot of the things they do. And I do think, like, referee training needs to be, you know, brought, brought up in the next... Um, British Board of Control meeting. Uh, and finally, um, what happens next? I think that rematch, an immediate rematch needs to happen now. And then I would like to see the winner of that, who I still think would be Oval McKenzie, I'd like to see the winner of that fight, um, uh, Dickinson, John Dickinson, uh, at the weight, or, um, no, hang on, he's a cruiserweight. I'm thinking of light heavyweight. Who is it? Well, I think that... Um, Overall, McKenzie will want to fight uh, Tony Bellew again, but I don't think he should fight Tony Bellew again, simply because I think Bellew is now out of the domestic scene. I think Bellew is now on the world scene, and so does he. I think he's now looking for a world title fight. Um, so I think an immediate rematch between Enzo and um, Overall McKenzie needs to, needs to take place. And then after that, 
I was thinking of some names like Matty Askin and John Dickinson, but I've just realised they're cruiserweights. So unless Oville McKenzie moves up to cruiserweight again, that's probably not going to happen. And the light heavyweight scene in Britain is quite is quite non-existent. So I'm not actually sure what Oville should do next, but the rematch <laughs> needs to take place. That's the first thing that needs to happen. All right.